Now that you've signed up as a member of the JCI Marina JC Movement, um, it's time to just uh, do a bit of update about your page to tell the world who you are, what you do, and for members, you can actually upload and share your photos that you've taken while as a JCI member. Now, let me go through the steps on how to do that. Uh, go to my page and you should uh, be prompted for a login and after you log in you see that your, your face is now just an icon so first thing you might want to do is to um, add in your profile information here what you can do is that you can um, upload your pictures in which case I've upload mine and you can crop to um, the size you want you have to change your email, your password and uh, do put in your birthday so that we can actually uh, wish you a very happy birthday when it happens maybe you get a gift, maybe not and you can set up the rest of the personal information as such for location in the city of course you know Singapore being Singapore you might just want to state where you stay uh, that helps us maybe even in um, getting a taxi together and we're done okay so now your handsome face appears on your profile page. What else can you do with this profile? You can share about what you're doing. So right now I'm doing a demo to set up a personal page on Marina JC's website. Right. and if you have a Twitter account you can even link it together so everything is uh, very well connected uh, let me just demonstrate the linking this will work for Facebook as well and as well as your um, art applications like the photo sharing uh, Flickr which we are going to use uh, later on right And you note that once I've done share, uh, the system automatically sends a message to Twitter. And your blog post is also shared on the site itself. Other than that, of course, you can share things like uh, photos and videos. Uh, it's highly recommended that first you go to uh, set up your link to Flickr or you can share directly from your computer as well but I'm going to demonstrate using Flickr click on set it up now and assuming that you already have a Flickr account right uh, you can go through these steps otherwise you have to click here which they will guide you through how to get a Flickr account right. so I'm going to follow the steps to um, link the Flickr for integration first I gotta log into Flickr and I'll need to apply a new API key of course I've already logged in as Brandon as you can see uh, and I'm going to just follow the steps to apply for non-commercial API key. OK, 
key in the app uh, to JCI Marina JC right and what you're building um, you can talk about the uh, photo sharing uh, for JCI Marina okay and submit okay and you have a very long um, words for authentication and the API key copy and follow the next step that is to set up your by going to edit app details and according to here to paste the website uh, URL which is stated here there should be a place to do a callback URL yes there it is okay and you're done on the Flickr setup now to go to step 3 which is enter your information and the key that I have keyed in the previous time uh, just whoops uh, you know you gotta go back to get the API key okay cut and paste on the key here and secret as well and save okay there you have you have set up the Flickr integration and from here you can actually uh, very easily share photos with your members So you can go to Flickr and select the photo set that is relevant to JCI for example. I have created a photo set on Flickr and labeled it as JCI. So anything regarding JCI will be sent to uh, the Ning Network through Flickr. So convenient isn't it? Okay, and you can see here it is already starting to Im import photos. Okay, look at that. I have loaded 10 photos of our members' uh, latest visit to uh, JCI Miyazaki's uh, 60th anniversary gala dinner in Japan, and I can even view it via a slideshow. Alright, so very convenient. Okay, and let's go back to what we can do to configure your page. Alright, see, the beautiful photos are there. Amazing, isn't it?
Okay, the next stuff that you might want to um, change would be to add some RSS uh, feeds that you like to find out or to be in touch with more. Uh, if you can, if you know how to use the RSS function, it's pretty easy. So let's say I'm interested to keep in touch with um, TechCrunch, which is a fabulous um, website for startups, and they might have an RSS that you can subscribe to. You see, yep, RSS and simply copy the RSS from there at the RSS and save. Voila! You have interesting articles that you may want to catch up on. Okay, so photos, you can also create photo albums by adding in um, some of your fo favorite photos. And guess what? You can even add in other friends' photos. And you can create uh, different photo albums for different events. And you can even uh, upload videos, which I will be uploading this demo video um, after I'm done with the recording. I'll be demonstrating that um, probably in the next video. And uh, what you can do is also to share this information uh, by the means of generating a RSS feed yourself, which is this little button here, right, by adding that to your Google homepage or adding that to your Google Reader. Which basically now you are tracking uh, Marina JC's updates as and when it happens. The other things you might want to uh, do some quick setup would be your uh, pl uh, Google Plus, your Facebook, and etc. This will enable you to help to promote the club's activities and as well as promote yourself. All right, and by doing a like and posting to Facebook, Um, if you are not already on Facebook, they will actually ask you to do a link to your Facebook. And of course, you can share to email addresses, uh, stumbleupon, dig, etc. And you can as well share this on Google. Okay, other th um, there are other stuff that you might want to just um, take note that is. Uh, you have a sort of a email not notification setup. You might want to know how often do you want to receive those emails. Maybe you just want it uh, once a week, or you you just want it when significant uh, messages are being sent. So you can't always configure your email here. Right. Lastly, under connections. Uh, as I said, you can basically uh, change your Twitter sharing, right? And you can create multiple Twitter accounts as well. All right. Finally, one last thing that you should do is invite your friends to the JCI movement. We are not uh, recruiting uh, only members, but also a community that can support our community activities. Right. I hope this video is useful for you to set up your own page and uh, make the best use out of it. Thank you and watch out for my next uh, update which is how to 
upload a video.